it's Friday and we're here showing you some new Caesar vinyl colors. Yay! Are we there? Or, oh, we're or not there. <laughs> well, we're checking. <laughs> maybe we're here, maybe we're not here. I think we are. I kept okay. my phone over here. All right. I just didn't Everything have Everything looks mm -hmm. good for Okay. Me. All right. Now All right. we have a counter. All right. Okay. We're good. Now we're really here. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining in today. I'm Danielle. I'm Jesse. I'm Bianca. I'm Jessica. And we are here showing Caesar's brand new colors. We have two new electric colors and a new glitter color. They're super nice and perfect for fall. We made this for our sample so you can kind of see it, but we're gonna make another sample today because why not? Um, but we're working with uh, Caesar Easy Weed Electric Cranberry, Electric Grape, and Glitter Champagne. So really nice colors for the fall season, even more perfect Christmas holiday yes. colors. It's coming. <laughs> yes, this, this red is just, it's just so amazing gorgeous. and it's so pretty and very wine-like, very cranberry-ish. So the name of course is perfect, but these two combined together really are quite nice uh, for those holiday teas and some fall ones. We're gonna do um, another fall sort of design today, Caramel Apple Cutie. Uh, so we'll we'll make that. And do we have any questions, concerns? No. Just see people saying hello. All right. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. All right, so we are going to go ahead, and I already weeded some, but go ahead, Jesse. We have some extra ones to weed because we're going to show you what it looks like on black, and then what it or what it looks like on white first, and then what it'll look like on black. Because I do feel that the cranberry and the grape may be a little difficult to see on a dark tea, um, but maybe not. So we'll go ahead and, and show you what that will look like. So let's go ahead and whoo, that's heavy pressure. <laughs> Yeah, I was testing a design earlier this morning and needed very Bianca's running. making me sorry. Making me work here. I always forget to change it back. <laughs> do you have black card? I do. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and print my um, red one first. And you can see as Jessie's almost done weeding, and she's done <laughs> with the purple. Easy. It's really easy. I mean, Caesar has his name for a reason. It is an easy weed product. There's cut instructions right on our website that makes it super easy to kind of follow and to make sure that your vinyl is going to be perfect cut. And as always, your vinyl cutter has a test cut. Most vinyl cutters do. I'm pretty sure they all do. Um, but always do like a little test cut just to make sure that those settings that you're using are going to work for your cutter. So just a couple key points there. And what setting are you using? I am at 305 for, I'm, I have it marked for 12 seconds, but since we're doing layers, I'm just going to knock it out for a couple seconds, pull it up, and then um, kind of see where I'm at there. Hello, Pea Holloway. It's her first time here. That's Hi. so exciting. All right, let me just move this up a little and straighten it out. Jess is over there weeding like crazy. <laughs> I know. I think she's like thinks it's a race or something. I mean, <laughs> well, those couple times we did have just said hello. Oh, nice, perfect timing. Hi, mom. Okay. We did have to race those couple times. Remember? Yeah, we did. Yeah, so that was <laughs> no pressure on. Me yeah, today. exactly. All right, I think I am sort of kind of straight. Nope, not at all. Okay. <laughs> It's so deceiving sometimes. Sometimes you get it straight, sometimes you don't. Because it all really depends on the way it's cut, too. Like, when I cut the outer sheet, if yeah, I yeah. set on an angle, I'm done. We're going to just go with it. Looks good enough to me. Okay. So, like all Caesar, go ahead and throw your nonstick sheet on top. And since we are layering, just a couple seconds just to tack it down. And pull it up. It's color one. And we're doing all the flat colors first and then glitter last because you don't want glitter because it has, it is a bit thicker than the other product. So pressing glitter, you know, second or first is going to alter how these other ones stick to your fabric. So, um, you know, definitely make sure, oh, that's not right. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to totally change that design right there. <laughs> I'm like, why isn't this working? All right. Let me, let me focus here. Need like the Jeopardy music. There you go. Okay. That's much better. <laughs> that was 
going to be really bad. Sometimes right. that heat can really get to you. It <laughs> yeah. really goes right to the brain. That's what we're going to We're going to blame it on that. Okay, and then the last layer is going to be our glitter. Again, a lot of thumbs up and hearts. So well. cute. This one's going to be so oh, cute. That. And this is a file. Where did I get this file? Um, Love SVG. Love SVG. Yep. Those um, free, free SVG files, and then you can um, you can give them like a little bit of a commission by giving them coffee. They yeah. have like a little pay link as well. So if you are going to be, I don't know about their commercial use. You can buy it. I did it for you two can. files just to be on the safe side. I think it was when we did our value transfers because I just wanted to make sure I yeah. was safe. So you're able, you are, so you are able to purchase from there and, you know, do a commercial use. So that's cool. Lisa, so glad this week's live is going better than last week's. <laughs> Knock on wood. Yes. So far. so far. And super cute. That is so cute. We should have brought the caramel apples in today. Yeah, right. Yes. We had them last week. Bianca yeah. treated us all with caramel they apples were last so week. Good. Was, <laughs> they were huge. Super good. All right, so we're just going to throw this same design on a black tee just so you can kind of see what it looks like. Because it does, I think it affects it. You know, whether you're printing on light or dark fabrics, you want to see what the colors look like because, you know, they might look a little different. Because that purple is a little dark, so it may look a little bit different. It is, so we'll see. It doesn't really matter where I put it this one. <laughs> Yeah, the first layer doesn't matter. The next layers will. Yeah. And since Jesse weeded them all for me, <laughs> thanks. You were saying how perfect my nails happened to match the yes. purple. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Not, Not planned. planned at all. <laughs> that was Love SVG. You guys said you got the files from. Yes. So it was yeah. Love SVG dot com. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. So they these are kind of dark, but with the sheen. I feel like it's okay. So it definitely looks good on a dark or a light fabric. And I'm just gonna show you without throwing in the glitter because I feel like the glitter is gonna make it different. So you can kind of see, but they do look a little bit dark. But you know, if you do like a gray or I think you like a navy, it should be okay. But fine. always, always keep in mind, um, Easy Weed Electric, you can layer it. So. If you wanted to throw, you know, white or pearl underneath, you totally can. You can layer this product and um, and it'll be okay for you. So anything underneath the electric is fine. Easy weed, so stick with Caesar. Caesar products, always stick with brand products together. So Caesar with Caesar, Shemica with Shemica, um, specialty material with specialty materials. I'm just gonna repress that. All right. I'll come do a one, big one, zoom yes. in once, that, once that's done. Cindy says, how do you ensure that it's centered? I'm always measuring to be sure. Yeah, that is that is the tricky part because, you know, you do want to make sure that you're centered. I always kind of, when I lay this down on the platen, because there, there are also, you know, methods out there. There's a, a logo grid, a T-square, the laser alignment system. Um, but you really, when you place it down, I kind of just go off the gauge of my, like where my shirt hits my platen. And then I, I scoot it up so that my collar's off the tee. And then this always helps me. This is just something I do. I kind of fold this bottom part to be lined up and then I'm, I'm kind of closer to my lines on my shirt. So like, I'll know that that's even now because I, my shirt bottom is even and by eyeballing it, that's even, it's not, a, it's not a total science, but, <laughs> but, but, I, but it helps me. And then I always kind of feel for my armpits and that sort of helps me as well to determine if I'm even and straight because the armpit holes on a good tee, should be even. <laughs> um, but it, it really is by eyeballing. And like the plus with vinyl is that it is a sticky um, carrier sheet. So 
as you're, you know, you stick it down, you hold it up, eyeball it this way, and then that also, I feel, helps sort of gauge if you're, if it's straight or not. So not a total science, but everybody has their own ways to do it. Oh, see, that looks okay. I feel yeah. like the sheen helps. If this wasn't a shiny electric, I feel like it, it would be too dark, but... I think that that looks really nice. I like it. Now, what's how does everybody say caramel? Because people say caramel different. Caramel. Oh, Bianca's a caramel. I think I say caramel, but see, you both said it differently. So I know. How do I say it? I know. I think I say caramel sometimes, <laughs> sometimes. So it really just depends on actually the item. Yeah. Like, I feel, you know what? I feel like that's like one of those debates that's like you either say like. No, I'm totally right. Say yeah. caramel or caramel. I'm a caramel. I can't. I know there's an extra A, but it's caramel. <laughs> <laughs> Jess, how do you say it? I think it depends on on the item. Yeah, you want to make I'm it special. Saying. Yeah. I'm eating a caramel. Like a caramel apple. Like it's caramel apple, but yeah. if you're doing like a something else that I can't think of right <laughs> now. But. I think I'm caramel. Do we have any questions? Nope. All right. Well, thank you everybody for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And make sure you also check us out on Facebook. We're on Instagram. Where else are we? YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, we have a blog, Pinterest. Um, so definitely tune in and, and check us out on all those other social medias <laughs> as well as Facebook. But thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.